What is up, you guys? Jamin here, and I am sick, so if my voice sounds weird, um, that's why I wasn't going to do a video today, but I had to. There was just there was a really entertaining game that happened last night. But I'm talking about all five games, wait, all four games that happened last night. So, first off, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning defeating the New Jersey Devils five three five three. Yes, it was five three. So Tampa scoring summary. Alex Kolarin had two. Kucherov had one. Point had one. And Tyler Johnson had one. And then for New and Veseleski had 41 saves. And for New Jersey, Sammy Vatnin had one. Heshear had one. And Coleman had one. And Schneider had 10 saves. And Keith Kincaid had 10 saves. I watched this game and it was really, really interesting. Um, like. I said to myself, because I didn't make a playoff video, because I didn't... My video would have been too long. It would have been like three hours, because I had so much to talk about. Um, they would... They are going to get swept by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Even though New Jersey's next game is at home, the New Jersey Devils are going to get swept by the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm saying it right now. The New Jersey Devils aren't experienced enough to beat Tampa... Even if they did have the experience, just like L.A. is right now. L.A. has a lot of experience. Vegas has zero. Unless you count Flurry and James Neal. So, they have some experience. New Jersey has no experience at all. So, that if they did have experience, like I said, they would probably push this game, push the series to five or six games. But, they're not. So next up, we got Nashville and Colorado. Nashville destroys, not not destroys. Nashville beats Colorado five. Wait, was it five three? Yep, five three. In Nashville. So scoring summary: Phil, uh, Victor Arberson, Austin Watson, Ryan Johansson, and Ryan Hartman. And Rene had twenty six saves. And Colorado, Nathan McKinnon, who is my heart trophy winner. McKinnon will win the heart trophy. And Gabriel Landskog, Alex Calfoot, Calfoot and Ray Rene. Oh, Bork. Okay, so it was 5 4. Never mind. Okay, it was 5 4. And Bernier had 28 saves. Colorado deserved this game. I am so surprised that Colorado did not win this game. Like, they scored. Three minutes into the game, I. It's just amazing on how Colorado didn't win this game. Like, Bernier, if you made just a few more saves, you guys would have won against the Nashville Predators. But, what happens, happens. Hopefully, you guys can win some games at home. I'm saying that Colorado will force this to, to five games. I, I'm just going to say my predictions during this. Colorado, like I said, Colorado doesn't have experience, but Colorado is almost winning against Nashville. 5-2, that's not close, but this game was 5-4. They will force us to five games. <laughs> They're going to win both games at home. Next up, Boston and Toronto. <laughs> this was a blowout for the Bruins. The Boston Bruins destroy... The Toronto Maple Leafs, 7-3. It was 4-1 at the end of the first. Oh, my God. So, David Pasternak had a hat-trick. Rick Nash had one goal. Miller had one goal. DeBrusque had one goal. And Krejci, Krejci had one goal. And Rask had... Oh, damn it. I didn't write down Rask saves. So I don't know how... I didn't write down Rask saves. I'm so sorry about that. Huh. I'll, I'll make sure I do that next time. And then Toronto, Mitch Marner, Tyler Brozdak, James Van Riemsdyk, Curtis McElhinney had 19 saves, and Frederick Anderson had two saves on five shots. This game was a blowout. No, Toronto didn't do anything good. You, you could say they scored three goals, but that's not good enough. No. This was a horrible game. This was the worst game I saw the Maple Leafs play all year. I watched this whole entire game. I was watching one game on my phone, and I was watching one game on this. And that was Nashville, Colorado, and then Boston, Toronto. On my cable box. And I just got... 
the definitely, 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 Toronto's gonna get swept. Nope, no way, no way they're not good. They're gonna get swept. Like, act there's no way they're gonna win a game, even at home. They're still gonna get blown out like six two. Is this they five one and now six, seven three? You could say they could do what Philadelphia did, but that was one game. They lost seven nothing and then won five two. 5-1. Or was it 5-2? Pretty sure it was 5-1. But, Toronto did nothing good this game. Like I said, Frederick Ranger sent up two saves on five shots. Next up. The last game, San Jose and Anaheim. I am so surprised. The San Jose Sharks defeat the, the Anaheim Ducks to take a full... Yeah, 2 nothing series lead. Oh, I forgot to say, Tampa is up 2 nothing series. Nashville's up 2-0 series, and Boston's up 2-0 series. So, San Jose takes a 2-0 series lead against the Anaheim Ducks. I am so surprised. I thought the Ducks were going to win this, win both games. And then San Jose was going to win at home once. And then they're going to lose, and then they're going to lose at home. So, it would be a five-game series. But no, San Jose takes a 2-0 series lead. Goals by Couture, Hurdle, and Sheeran, I think. And Jones had 28 saves. Anaheim, Lynn Holm, and Silverberg, and Old Ottawa Senator, and Gibson at 32 saves. This was a good game for both teams. Honestly, I'm surprised that Anaheim didn't win, like I said, like five times already. Anaheim should have won. They didn't win, obviously, but it was a good game for both teams. I didn't watch the game because I fell asleep before the game started because I wasn't feeling good. But, great game, from, I saw from the highlights. Some At some points, some, uh, some people told me it was boring at some times, but... I don't think it was when I watched the highlights, but it was only the freaking eight minute highlights. So that's it for this for you guys. But I want to say something. I said for this, I am going to be reacting to the Boston Celtics game that starts at two o'clock. I am going to be just pausing and pausing and pausing it. If you want me to do a live stream on it, just comment down below and I will. But anyways, that's it for this for you guys. Comment down below. Who do you think is going to win out of every single series? I'm out. Peace.